the goal of tonight is to tell you about our clean program. I know some of you have done this before. Um, and the reason I wanted you to join us is because we're going to do this a little bit differently this year than we did the last couple of years. And we're actually going to start the program on January 16th, which is our first kickoff meeting. So I have two goals for tonight. One, to explain the program to those of you who are new to it so that you know whether or not this is right for you. And two, to help you get ready so that when January 16th comes, you can hit the ground running and jump right into the program. Um, you are more than welcome to unmute yourself and interrupt me and ask questions. This is a Q&A type of environment. Um, or you can write down your questions and save them for the end. I do have a slide that reminds me at the end <laughs> to ask you guys if you have any questions. Um, so that's the format. Um, let me unshare for just a moment. And I want to introduce you to Kim, if you don't know her. I'm going to spotlight her screen so you guys can see her. A lot of you guys know her because she's taught here for many, many years. And she's still teaching for us. Um, but on Zoom these days. Anything you want to say before I keep going? No, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm really excited to do this this year. This is um, the 10th anniversary from when I did it the very first time. So I'm going to do it like I've never done it. Like it's just day one. So I'm rereading the book and I'm super excited to be in this with you guys. I am super excited that you're with us too. So I have um, help in leading this program. And um, it's been 10 years since you've done it, but you've done it a bunch of times. Um, and you've done it in a variety of different ways, which is something that we'll get into is there's lots of ways to do this. Um, and it kind of depends on what your goals are. Okay. So with that, let me go ahead and share. All right. So the first question is why? Why are we cleansing? If you read Clean, which I strongly recommend, the book by Alejandro Younger, he will explain to you how toxic our world is. The first half of the book, I'll be honest, is a little bit depressing. Um, keep reading because there's hope. Not only are we exposed to things um, and they can cause inflammation and dis-ease, um, but we do also have systems within our body that can detoxify us. So. We're exposed to things. We have these internal systems that can help us. Sometimes we're overexposed and our systems aren't working as well as they can. And so the goal of this program is to aid those systems, those organs that we have um, that might be overtaxed, give them a little break from the things that can cause some of that um, strain on them and get your body back to its natural healthy state. Because in its natural state, our body regulates itself really, really well. Um, so that's our goal is to get back to our natural state. It's not to um, get become superhuman, but to get to the way we're supposed to be. And ultimately, you should feel better. So when you're in your um, optimal health, you're just going to feel better, which probably means you're also going to be nicer to people <laughs> if you're like me. <laughs> okay, so what does it look like specifically? It's based on something called an elimination diet. The elimination diet was not invented by Dr. Younger, who is the author and founder of this program. Um, it's actually an ancient practice where you take out foods that can cause dis-ease, um, whether that is something like um, jittery, jitteriness that you get from coffee, or it might be um, an inflammatory response in the body that causes digestive issues or something else. So there's lots of different things that can cause um, disease and we're gonna eliminate them in this program. It's based on a functional medicine approach to health. So instead of just looking at the disease and trying to solve the problem um, and make it go away, we are gonna look at how the body's functioning as a whole and try and reset to its natural state rather than just targeting one issue. And the way we do this is we take out the five most common toxic triggers plus some other stuff. Those are all of our favorite things. So gluten, dairy, processed sugar, caffeine, and alcohol are the big five. If you're like me, these are in my daily diet. Maybe not all of them every day, but they're pretty common in the um, Western 
by it. And um, I'm a believer that everything in moderation is okay. But when my body's out of balance, trying to reset it means taking these things out for a while until I get to a healthy state and then monitoring and being mindful about how I, I'll call it using, how I use <laughs> these substances that don't keep me in my optimal health. Okay, the other part of this program, which has become very popular since this book was first released um, more than 10 years ago, is um, fasting. So um, intermittent fasting has gotten a lot of press lately, and um, there's another version of this program that does it in a little bit more specific way. But this program has always included a fasting element, and um, the suggestion is a 12-hour window. So what that looks like for most people is you stop eating at a certain time in the evening and you don't eat again until that same time the next day. So if you have your last meal and you're complete eating at 8 p.m., then you wouldn't eat anything again until 8 a.m. the next day. So it's, it's not um, very hard. You can play with this a little bit. We'll talk about that more in the program. Um, but the idea is to give your body time to do the work of detoxification. On top of that, the program recommends some supplements that will help speed up the detoxification. Um, probiotics are part of this, digestive enzymes, and some other supplements that I'll get into in a little bit more detail. So um, taking away some things, fasting, and using some, some supplements to help aid the process. That's basically what it boils down to. Okay, I like to tell people it's a research project and you are the subject of it. So you are gonna do the science of taking the things away and monitoring how they affect you when you bring them back in. The aim of course is to figure out how to feel your best and ultimately you'll decide what to keep and what to leave. So there's no clean police in this program or in your life, hopefully. Um, and this program isn't meant to be something that you do for the rest of your life. It's meant to teach you how to feel good so that when you're making a decision, you're using that information to make good choices. Um, and each of us is different. So your experience in the program is not gonna be the same as um, anybody else's. And if you're doing this again after some time, your experience this time might not be the same as before. So keep that in mind, um, especially, you know, like Kim said, she hasn't done it very strictly for 10 years. And Kim and I have aged 10 years together. <laughs> we are very different people than we were when we first did this program together. Um, and so um, I've got some different things. I'll actually share this, um, just kind of a personal thing that's going on with me. I am finally reaching the change, the M word, menopause. And um, I'm having hot flashes. So I... I I had this weird idea that I might be able to avoid this. There's a whole history there that I won't go into. Um, but one of the things that I've read in trying to figure out how to move through this phase of my life is um, caffeine and alcohol can contribute to hot, hot flashes. So I'd like not to believe that because I really like my morning coffee, but I also don't really like my hot flashes. So um, I've been keeping a little log of how they're happening now before I start clean. And then I'm also going to keep a log when I get on the program and see if it really does make a difference. Um, and then I have that information to use as I choose, right? I may still drink coffee on a regular basis after the program's over, um, but at least I'll know that I'm actively choosing to have the experience that I'm having. Or I could maybe decide it's, it's really not that important and I can live without it. So anyways, those are the kinds of things that this program can help us figure out, whatever your version of that is. All right, not everybody um, is well aligned with doing the program. So let's first talk about whether or not this program makes sense for you. If you have any of the symptoms that are on this slide, you're probably a good candidate for clean. Um, so just take a look for a moment. I think everybody can see it. Um, some of these are fairly common. Frequent headaches, I've been going through that in the last couple of years. Um, an interesting one to me is anger or irrational frustration. <laughs> it's not just the physical things, but it's also our mental health that can be affected by toxicity in our body. Um, restlessness, not an inability to sleep. Sensitivity to chemicals. So even if it's something like scents are really hard, 
um, that could be a sign that your body has carrying an extra toxic load and clean could help with that. Any questions around this before I go to the next? Okay. These are the folks who should not do the cleanse. So if you're pregnant or nursing, this is not a good program for you. Um, if you're under the age of 18, I, we don't recommend it. Um, and then the rest of the um, things that are on this list, what I will offer is um, some of these things are probably not the kind of things that you want to say to a bunch of strangers. Hey, I have this. Can you tell me more? If you want to email me, Kate at SavannahPowerYoga.com, if you have one of these conditions and you're concerned about doing the program, I'm happy to talk to you about it. I've We've led this program 20 times now. And um, some of the questions that you'll have I've had before, um, or I can um, guide you on how to get some answers. We have a very close relationship with the clean team. Um, Dr. Younger has actually attended these programs with us in the past and answered questions personally that people have. So we have the ability to get answers for you and your doctor is also a good source depending on what's going on. So anyhow, if you have questions around any of these things, please um, do contact us and we can help you make a decision if you're not sure. Okay, how does it work? Step one is to get ready. So we call this the pre-cleanse. This is gonna happen between now and January 16th. That's why it was so important for everybody to watch this video first. Um, and I'll explain to you in a moment how to do that, but basically you need to get ready, especially if you're a coffee drinker. <laughs> Step two um, is the actual cleanse, which lasts for 21 days. And then when we're complete with the cleanse, we're gonna have a meeting at the end of the 21 days and we're gonna explain how to do what we call the reintroduction. And the reintroduction phase is where some of that really good science can happen, where you start putting things back in and noticing how it affects you. Um, and it's usually people last about seven days before they um, start doing all kinds of other things. So um, how long it takes is up to you, but usually about a week is what um, people will do. Okay, so what can you eat? Lots of things. The list of foods is um, extensive. Um, and I actually, I like to tell people this is a really great program for foodies because there's, there's quite a lot of variety and it'll encourage you to try some new things if you have a habit of eating the same thing all the time. So here's the list. I'm gonna send out the PDF. Um, and of course the video is gonna be available too. If you sign up for the program, we give you a, work, we give you a PDF of the workbook that has this in it. The book, um, the original edition has this stuff listed on pages 158 to 159. I haven't updated my um, notes about what page it's on in the new version of Clean. Um, I think it's, it's the same. There. Okay, pages 158 to 159. Okay, a couple things that I want to point out in here. Um, fruits and vegetables are yes. We don't do dairy, but we can do dairy substitutes like almond milk, hemp milk. Um, Kim actually asked today um, from the clean team directly because I think she was hoping for a different answer <laughs> if we can do oat milk and unfortunately the answer is no oats are not allowed in the program, even if they're gluten free and so um, no oats no oat milk. Um, lots of um, good non gluten grains so things like quinoa and brown rice um, are good choices, we also. Um, allow meat. The basic thing around meat is that it needs to be something that isn't exposed to a lot of toxins. And that's why you'll see some things on here that might be surprising. Like, why is it that you can have um, wild game and lamb? Um, and I've asked these questions to Dr. Younger directly. Um, and like, for example, on lamb, um, you know, if you know what lamb is, it's baby sheep and they don't live very long. And most of them are raised in New Zealand where it's free range and they don't use a lot of pesticides. And so it's a relatively healthy red meat compared to a CAFO cow that was grown on a farm and fed a lot of um, toxic uh, animal feed. So um, that's the why behind the things that are chosen. Same thing like with the fish, the things that have less heavy metals in them are gonna be the choices beans and lentils and legumes, nuts and seeds, lots of oils. Um, coffee is out, as you've heard. 
Um, but there are other um, substitutes that we'll talk about as we get into the program. There are some artificial, um, well, all natural substitute sweeteners from sugar. Stevia is one of them. I personally despise stevia, so I try to avoid it at all costs, <laughs> but you can have it on the program if you like. Like I prefer coconut nectar or coconut sugar, um, which you can find in Kroger. So um, any of these things are going to be in moderation, but there are ways to um, cook with other alternatives. Questions on this before I go to the next slide. Joyce. Um, I'm, one time we were uh, doing this, we found monk fruit, both a, either in a liquid or a powder that was supposed to be a substitute sweetener. I know a lot of people really liked that. I don't yep. see it on the list, but that's okay. Yeah. It is It is allowed. This is not the complete list. Um, monk fruit is allowed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What can't you eat? Fake processed food. <laughs> Plus some other stuff. And the other stuff is stuff that causes inflammation. So um, the big five, we've already mentioned those. Um, and then some other things that are really common allergens, like eggs are a common allergen. So because this program is written for, you know, almost anybody to be able to do it, we get rid of eggs, some fish, shellfish, peanuts, common allergen, as you probably know, soybeans. Um, and then surprising to a lot of people is nightshades. Nightshades include tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, potatoes. Um, and so uh, even though, you know, you might think tomatoes are perfectly healthy, they're pretty common um, allergens for people that are um, susceptible. I am one of those people that um, if I eat tomatoes in excess, my body um, goes into an inflammatory state. I still do eat tomatoes, but I'm not confused as to why I feel hot and I turned red. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, there are some things that might seem peculiar um, and it's usually because they're a common allergen. All right, I'm gonna move us on to supplements. Uh, a probiotic for gut health is recommended. The probiotic that has been recommended over the years that we've been doing this program has changed several times. And even within the um, clean headquarters products that they sell, they've got different varieties. The most recent recommendation has been one called Bacillus coagulans. Um, if you're using a different probiotic and it's working well for you, I would say you can stick with that. Um, the probiotic maintenance product that they sell, different than the clean kit that they sell, um, is actually a variety of different probiotics. So um, don't get too caught up on perfection around this. A probiotic um, that's a good quality is um, probably good enough. If you don't, I mean, especially if you just spent 50 bucks on your probiotics, um, you can keep using them. <laughs> a digestive enzyme is also suggested. Um, when you change your diet, I know this from experience, um, even stuff that's supposed to be healthy can cause digestive upset. And that might look like bloating or gas or diarrhea, just like different things that can happen when your body isn't be able to digest things properly. So taking a digestive enzyme is a way to help moderate the impact um, so that you don't have some of that um, reaction to new foods in your digestive system. So a digestive enzyme, I'll give you a brand if you're um, interested in a specific recommendation. And then also we'll take Ayurvedic herbs. Um, most folks have heard of turmeric. It's one of the herbs that's suggested and some other ones that will support detoxification. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for now and um, I'll keep going through the slides and we can do more questions at the end about the supplements in particular. Okay, one of the big questions I always get is, do I have to give up coffee? According to the program, yes. Um, Kim and I have both done this program pretty strictly, but opted to keep the coffee. Um, and here's what I wanna say about that. Um, this program is really powerful. And if the only thing that's keeping you from doing it is that you don't wanna give up your coffee, um, I would say do the program and Give yourself permission to keep the coffee because there's lots of other good things that can happen. Paul, do you have a question? 
Yeah, is it the caffeine in the coffee that we're trying to give up? I mean, if, if I want to- It's two things. Yeah, it's the caffeine and it's the acidic nature of coffee. Um, what you'll find is that there are some coffee substitutes that are allowed in the program, like yerba mate. Um, yerba mate is a lot has um, chemistry that's a lot like caffeine. It's got theobromine in it that's a stimulant, and it's allowed on the program. That's what I drink on the program to get me over the hump of um, going from being a regular coffee drinker to not having anything to help me keep my eyes open through the day. Um, and it's not acidic. So that's a really lovely part of it is that I can have a warm drink in the morning and it's not acidic. Acidity causes inflammation in the body. And so we're also eliminating foods that can do that. So that's a really good question. Any other questions around coffee? Okay. What about eating out? Well, once you know the protocol, um, you can eat out, um, but you have to be that picky person. So, I mean, a lot of places you can get a salad with some salmon or a salad with some chicken. If you're doing this for health reasons and you need to be very strict to be a good scientist, you're gonna need to ask questions. We have um, partnerships with a few um, local businesses that offer food options, um, which I'll tell you about if you sign up for the program. Um, so there are ways to get help with the um, meal preparation if, you're strapped for time or you simply don't like the cooking part of it. So um, there are ways that you can do this program if you don't do a lot of cooking yourself. Okay, so let me tell you exactly how the 21 day program works. Um, this is what you do every day on the 21 day program. The morning is liquid. So smoothie is what most people do. Um, and if you're doing supplements, you'll take your supplements at that time. So like a turmeric supplement, a probiotic, if you're taking a probiotic. In the middle of the day, you eat your biggest meal. So solid food, um, following the elimination diet protocol. And if you're taking supplements, you'll take them at that time as well. In the evening, you go back to liquid. So it could be a smoothie, it could be soup. You could have soup for breakfast. I'm actually more of a savory person than a sweet person. So sometimes I have soup for breakfast because that's what my body wants. Um, but the idea of the liquid meals at night is that it aids that um, detoxification that happens during the 12 hours. So it's, it's a soft landing into those 12 hours and your body's done a lot of the digesting already during the day. So you're get, you can go into a deeper detoxification overnight. Um, and so once again, those are the supplements um, that you'll take. So starting right now, you're going to prep your pantry. For me, what that means is, um, I'll just admit it, eating my way through all the things that I would have to throw away. <laughs> I don't like to throw away food. Um, some of the stuff I put in the freezer, like, you know, like cookies and stuff like that, especially if you got stuff for Christmas that's special, you can stick it in the freezer and keep it out of eyesight and um, then eat it in moderation if you find that um, you want it after the program. Um, the other things that I recommend eliminating are caffeine and sugar. So these are addictive substances. And when you start your 21 days, if you haven't yet tapered off or stopped completely, you're gonna have a rude awakening in the first few days of your program. So you wanna be able to pay attention to the actual protocol and not be suffering from the caffeine withdrawals while you're also trying to figure out how to follow the 12, fa 12 hour fasting window and um, liquid meals. Um, we'll have meetings during the program. Our meetings are on Monday nights instead of Wednesdays once we start the program. And they, like this one, will be on Zoom. They will be recorded so if you miss a meeting, you'll be able to watch it. Um, and catch up on them, whatever we were doing. Um, so the first meeting, we'll spend a lot of time talking about food and making sure everybody's clear on that and um, working through that. The second two meetings are gonna be about different topics that have to do with detoxification. If you read the book, you will he um, hear Dr. Younger talking about water, um, about skincare products, about um, quantum detox, which is what he calls meditation, 
Um, so there's a lot of other aspects to the program and we will be covering those in some of the other meetings. And then on February 6th is our final meeting. It's a little bit of a celebration because it's the last day of the 21 day program. And it's also when you'll begin your reintroduction. And usually people have a lot of questions. Um, and so we do a meeting at the end also to help make sure you're on the right track for your science. Okay, so for prep, clean out your pantry, start to taper. Um, you will want a blender, um, probably more likely than a juicer. I'm a smoothie person, not so much a juice person, partly because they um, stay with me longer. Juices are allowed. Most of the juices that you're gonna find um, follow the protocol well, um, have a lot of greens in them. So if green juice is not your favorite thing, um, smoothies might be more to your liking. And a lot of soups, even if they're um, designed to be eaten with like chunks of vegetables in them, you can put them in a blender and make them suitable for clean. The soups do need to be um, liquefied. So a blender or a hand blender at a minimum you'll need for the program. It's much easier if you have somebody to do it with you. So there's 39 people signed up for this tonight. You can find a buddy in this group. If you live with somebody and you can convince them to do it, it's a lot easier on you um, especially if you're the main food provider in the home, cooking two different things and cooking solid food for people when you're on clean might make you hangry. <laughs> um, the other thing that I have done in the past is um, I will, um, I spend some time on my midday meal and make it as delicious as I can. And um, my husband loves them, um, but he needs a lot of food in his body and so um, he'll usually have that for dinner instead of doing soup with me just because he um, works a different schedule than I do that works better for him to make sure he's got food at night so you'll figure out your way but um, consider that if you are in a situation with other people in your household you need to start figuring out how that's going to work for you. Um, and I, I, re I strongly recommend reading the book. The book is full of really great science that explains why this program works and how it works. And in my own life, when I'm wavering in the program, um, when I remind myself of why, which is some of the science behind it, then it's easier for me to stick with it than just pure willpower. So um, I recommend the book. Uh, let's see. This is the complete list. Here you can see monk fruits in here. Um, you'll get a copy of this um, when you start the program. Okay, let me talk about the supplements again. I said I'd come back to this. Um, we've talked about the probiotic pretty extensively. Um, plant-based enzymes. So there are digestive enzymes that are not vegetarian. Look for something that's plant-based. Um, I will, we actually, um, on our website, um, there is a, shopping link that tells you about our boutique and there's also an amazon affiliate page that has a bunch of products on it that you can buy from amazon through our links um, and all of our recommended products are on there so um, i'll show you that after we get off the powerpoint presentation and you can just go on there and pick them if you want to use the stuff that we've been using the other thing that i'll say just as a side is um I get emails from Whole Foods um, and all of their supplements are on sale for Prime members now until um, I think January 17th. I wrote it down so I could tell you. No, no, I didn't write down the date though. It's 33% off supplements if you're a Prime member um, sometime in the next week. So if you ever go to Whole Foods or buy on Amazon um, and you're a Prime member, you can get a pretty good discount right now. Okay, so the Ayurvedic um, herbs that we take are, Pamela, I'll, ask, I'll answer that question at the end. Um, turmeric, specifically, if you were to buy the kit from Clean, they sell all these products. Um, it's 740 milligrams three times a day. There's a lot of turmeric on this plan. So depending on how you're buying it, it might be two or three turmeric capsules three times a day. Um, Trifla which specifically it's three, it's three different herbs, amla, bibitaki, and harataki. And the, um, the amount is shown here, 320 milligrams, three times a day. They also have neem in the box and a liver and kidney formula. 
Now, um, let me keep going. This box, um, if you order it from the Clean Group, it's $425. You can get it off of their website, cleanprogram.com. This is the easiest way to do clean. It might not be the most exciting way, but if you're like, I just want it simple, I want to be strict, I want to just follow the protocol and make it as simple as possible, you can buy this kit. What comes in it is 42 shake packs and little um, packs of all the supplements that you're supposed to take every um, meal. So you'll get 63 packets because there's 21 days and three meals a day. Um, and you basically just open the packet, take what's in there, make your shake with the packet for the shake mix. Um, and it's very, very straightforward. Um, I recommend this uh, if you've got a serious health problem and you want to follow the strict protocol and you don't have time to go do all the research and find all the things and do it that way. Um, we used to carry this product and sell it here. Um, and we decided not to carry it this year, not because it's not a good product. Um, but what I want to tell you about this product is that it's health food and it doesn't taste great. Um, so you might get the shake mix and be like, I spent $425 on this and it tastes terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's health food. So, uh, you're warned. Um, and some of us are better at handling things like that than others. So, um, just be warned that, um, you know, the shakes are not lovely, made, especially if you just make them with water. <laughs> um, I recommend frozen fruit mixed in with your protein powder. <laughs> okay, so that's the easiest way to do it. If you want to do the program with us, we're charging $85 um, to do the complete program with us. What you get for that is, um, it's actually four meetings. Um, the first meeting, second and third meeting, and then the final meeting is the reintroduction. We give you a PDF of a workbook that'll help you keep track of what you're doing throughout the program and give you some tips and pointers for each week. Um, and then we also use a tool called Slack. I can see your faces, even though you guys can probably only see me, um, but raise your hand if you've never used Slack. I wanna get a sense of how many people are new to this technology. Okay, so I'd say about a third of you from the people that are raising their hands. Um, we will teach you how to use this technology um, it's basically a really nice um, business friendly version of Facebook. So a lot of organizations, including us, use it to communicate within our team. Um, so instead of using Facebook groups, which we used to use for most of our programs, we now use Slack and it's free. And it just gives you a place where you, we can upload documents, we can have conversations, um, and it's a great way to share information. And we use it for this program. So if you wanna be active in the program, you will need to um, get a copy of it. There's no advertising on it. There's no friends from high school on it, unless one of them's in this program with you. It's closed and it's only for people in the program. So um, it's nicer than a Facebook for that reason. Um, if you don't yet have a yoga pass and you want to add yoga, um, it's $125 and the timing of that, it will start January 6th with it, which is a couple days from now, and it'll run until February 6th when the program is over. So it's actually a pretty good deal, um, to add the yoga on if you're not already a member here. The link for registering is at, on that, um, hyperlink that you can see on this slide and I'll send out an email that's got the link too. The price doesn't include the book. So if you haven't gotten the book, we have a few here at the studio. So if you want a hard copy and it's simple for you to just get it here, you can do that or you can um, get it from your preferred vendor. So why should you do it with us? Well, I think it's more fun to do this with other people. We can share recipes. We also, um, I've done a soup swap with people, um, which is pretty nice because it's hard to make one serving of soup. <laughs> um, and sometimes I don't want to eat the same soup five days out of the week if I'm doing it on my own. And so I'll make a big batch of a couple different kinds and I'll find a friend who's going to make a big batch of a couple different kinds and we'll end up each with four or five different kinds of soup with having, without cooking them all ourselves. So that kind of thing is really nice about doing this in the group. We also have partners that we're going to um, work with to bring clean products to you. Um, we have um, two juice businesses 
And we have a woman who we worked with for years who supplies um, ready-made meals for the middle of the day. She knows our protocol really well. Um, and um, she's done delivery in the past. I don't know exactly how that's working. Um, I think she still does that or there's a, an easy place to pick it up. Um, so that's another great way to um, get some support on the program. Um, and we've done it a bunch of times. So um, we know some of the tips and tricks. Okay, I'm going to stop the screen share so we can see each other's faces again. And I know for sure um, that Pamela had some questions. So I'm going to take her questions first because she already flagged me down and I told her to wait. <laughs> I'm on mute. Um, no, I bought this actually a while back. It is, um, I don't know if this is a good, uh, good brand. Actually. Hold it more to the go. middle. There we go. Um, yeah, so Joyce, who's right next to you on my screen, worked at Brighter Day for many, many hey, Joyce. years. Okay, I think I remember her. Yeah, so she's our resident expert on what good quality um, supplements are, and if she's giving you a thumbs up. Awesome. Yeah. Thank so you. You're, you're good to go on that. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Who else? All clear? All right, I do wanna actually, let me show you something. I'm gonna um, share my screen in a minute. I can't see you guys right now. So if you're waving at me, let Kim help you out for a moment. Uh, let me go here. Okay, I'm gonna share. It looks like my Google is slow see what happens huh what's up Google oh there you are okay okay if you haven't been to our website this is what it looks like and if you come to event or sorry shop and you go down to products this is where we have all the stuff um, scroll down and these are the supplements okay these brands are really common um most of them are like organic india they have it lots of places this is the um enzyme that i've been using that was um, very similar to the one that comes in the clean kit this is a bacillus coagulans um, probiotic the thorn brand you can get that on amazon or i'm sure you could get it at whole foods um, i prefer this um, protein powder to um, some of the other ones. Um, personally, I'm, I said earlier, I'm not a Stevia fan and the Vega plain, if you don't get vanilla or chocolate or anything flavored, um, it mixes pretty well with things and it doesn't have Stevia in it. So that's a tip if you're like me and don't like Stevia. Um, and then some of the other products that we use. So flaxseed is a great source of um, omega threes and sixes. So we've got those and then um, a couple other things that we'll talk about during the program. So that's just a resource for you if you're don't want to leave your house and you want to do the program and bring it all to you. <laughs> all right. Last call on questions. Okay. Well, um, I'm very excited about doing this program this year with you guys. I'm going to do some self science. Um, and I hope you guys have some science to do too. My email is Kate at savannapoweryoga.com. Super easy. Um, reach out to me or Kim. Um, Kim's got a new email address. So, um, yeah, I do you want to share that with email. us? I think it's in the email that Kate sent out to you guys. It's KW Norvell. So it's my first and second initial plus Norvell at gmail.com. All right. And um, so we're going to put up the Slack channel before the 16th. So when you sign up, you'll get an invitation to join the Slack channel. And that's a really great place as you're prepping to ask questions. Um, some of our partners are giving me menus and I'm going to be putting them in there. So as soon as you sign up, um, we'll get you in the Slack group and you can start to ask your questions and see what other people are doing. All right.